Hi, today I will be discussing electron spin resonance of unpaired electrons. So, in the electron spin resonance? Electron spin resonance is electron paramagnetic resonance EPR. So, this is a spectroscopic technique and it is confined to the study of the species having one or more unpaired electrons. One of the unpaired electrons in species studies use in the spectroscopic technique is electron spin resonance. So here we consider the angular momentum of electron and the magnetic momentum of electron. Hence we get a lot of information about the species. Angular momentum of electron, magnetic momentum of electron consider in the species in the core information. So this is the main advantage of this method. So the angular momentum may arise from both orbital as well as the spin motion of electron. Angana kitana angular momentum or magnetic momentum lead in. So, in most of the cases, we consider the magnetic momentum from spin angular momentum only. So, the spin and the charge of the electron will give rise to a spin magnetic moment, mu s and nanu are another, which is given by mu s is equal to minus g mu b s divided by h cut. Our g nor another gyro magnetic ratio, mu b nor another Bohr magnetron. On. So, if the angular momentum H cut is express in the equation 1 and the item arum, mu s is equal to minus g mu b into s. The equation number 2 at nitka. So the orbital magnetic moment mu l and get another mu l is equal to minus mu b into l. Equation number 3 at nitka. So our l is the orbital angular momentum of electron in unit of H cut. So total magnetic moment mu is equal to mu s plus mu l. That is mu is equal to minus g mu b s minus mu b into l. Equation number 4. So if the system has spin magnetic moment alone. So this is spin magnetic moment in the middle. Mu is equal to minus g mu b into s. Equation number 5. So the negative sign and the indicate in the signal mu and s are in opposite direction. 